So I say goodbye to uh, the volunteer ranger at uh, Bathurst Harbour and uh, get myself ready to get the plane started. What I'll do is I'll um, head onto the runway and backtrack down to the beginning of uh, runway 30 and then take off, um, circle to the right and head off um, over the top of the field back towards Cox's Bight again. So we've got the engine started and uh, the engine's still pretty warm so it won't take much to get us going and off we can go. Sky looks beautiful, doesn't it? In fact, it's um, surprisingly turbulent just above the airfield. But uh, once we get out away from here, it won't be too bad. So we line ourselves up, make our calls, and away we go. And very quickly, we're up in the air. And we'll climb in this direction up to uh, about 5,000 feet and begin to circle around, climbing up to... Uh, a thousand feet on the uh, crosswind leg here and uh, quickly up at a thousand feet and now we're going to go across the airfield which you can see way down below us and we're going to head back down pretty much the way we flew in to um, to Cox's Bight and then we'll turn left and we'll head off along the uh, the coast eastwards back towards um, the Huon Valley now, as we approach Cox's Bight here, you can see a number of um, islands out in the, in the, um, or just beyond the bight, really. Um, the biggest one you can see is DeWitt Island. These are all part of, these, these ones from DeWitt Island outwards are all part of what's called the Matsuka group of islands. And um, one of those, I think, has a helipad on it. And... Uh, but we won't go and bother to have a look at those. The little island in the uh, in the bay we're coming towards is called Louisa Island. And uh, we're on climb here towards, uh, as we did before, uh, around about five, just under 5,000 feet for the, for the trip home. So we'll go over these beautiful looking beaches here um, and head on for the uh, Louisa Island. And then, as you can see in the distance, we've got the, um, the Ile de Golf, ahead of that and the little island beyond that um, I'm not sure that actually has a name or if it does I don't know what it is so um, it could be anything really but we approach the uh, Ile de Golf some people say the Ile de Golf is part of the uh, the Matsuka island system some people say it's a separate island it's um, you pay your money and you take your choices I think there So we're heading towards um, Point Vivian, and in the distance, really South Cape is the direction of our travel. Um, and fairly soon, I'm going to um, to realise that I've made a bit of a boo-boo um, with the, the plan I'd originally intended, which was to fly just off the coast over the calm, in the calm air. Um, unfortunately, the, uh, well, unfortunately for me, that is, the, uh, the camera is on the right wing strut, and if I fly over the water, you won't get to see much apart from an awful lot of water. So um, I'm going to change my ideas and I'm going to to, um, to tack over land so that uh, the coast is, to, is going to stay to our right. And um, we'll head along um, beyond the, the Ironbound range here to um, um, and around the base of... Um, the Hearts Mountains as we as we approach um, the Huon, um, and uh, and then we'll follow a kind of a coastal route um, to the to the north of um, of Southport and to the the west of uh, Dover and uh, across to the Huon, so that uh, you should get to see as much as there is to see. In the very far distance, the uh, 
Um, the land you can see is uh, Bruni Island. Um, surprising how far you can actually see because um, uh, Bruni is is somewhere of the order of uh, 50 miles from from where we are at the moment, a little bit less than uh, than than 50 miles from where we are. Um, but it's uh, even on a hazy, slightly hazy day um, like today, it's um, it's still you still get a fairly good view of, of what's going on around Tasmania. So um, over on the coastline there, as we uh, as we cross um, the base of um, the the Hearts Mountains here, is uh, Recherche Bay is the is the the big bay that you can see with the uh, rather nice beach just off to the left of it. Beyond that is uh, a Southport Lagoon, and beyond that is Southport Harbour, where um, where the town of Southport is is uh, nestled in on the uh, on the harbour. There, it's on the on the far side of the harbour actually, and we're not going to fly actually over that. We're going to fly over. Um, uh, we're going to fly to the to the um, the the north of that um, of that bay, and the, there are three little townships there: um, Ida Bay, Loon River, and Hastings. And we'll fly over those, and then um, towards Strathblane, and we'll see Dover on the on the on our right-hand side. So these are these three little towns that we're that we're flying over now, and uh, Southport is the the bit that the bit of uh, on the side of the um, the river there, that uh, on the side of the um, the harbour there, um, that looks rather dry. So we continue along over um, over the land to the uh, to the east of the uh, the Hearts Mountain Range now, and you can see um, Dover Harbour coming up, and uh, Dover is. Uh, once again, on the on the far side of this uh, of this bay, but we won't fly over over Dover. We'll um, we'll we'll take a path over uh, Strathblane, which is just this little area here, just to the uh, uh, to the west of um, of Dover Harbour. And you can now clearly see the Huon Estuary in the distance with. Uh, Huon Island at its mouth, Garden Island a little bit further on, and at the moment we're we're heading just to the uh, to the north of Signet Water, that uh, that big body of water that's coming off the the far side of um, of the Huon Estuary. So you should be able to, if you've watched some of the other videos, you should be able to get a feeling for more or less where we're going here. Um, just on running along the mountain top, this side of um, of uh, Signet Water is is the uh, the airstrip Glendevy, which we're going to ignore, and we're just going to keep on heading along and descending now um, along the side of of what's uh, Esperance Peak and and um, and Hearts Peak down into the valley. Can't really see the the Hearts and Esperance Peaks to be honest. Um, we're heading down into the valley and and um, we're just wanting to go along the western bank here, heading for um, Port Huon, getting to see a few of the settlements now along the western bank of the of the Huon Estuary. And uh, if you've uh, if you've been with us before, you should be quite clear that we're heading down towards that uh, um, that pier over there. Which is um, which is at Port Huon, and we'll go over the top of that at around about 700 uh, feet. We'll go uh, halfway across that promontory, which uh, the other side of which is Castle Forbes Bay. Um, and when we get to halfway across that promontory, we'll turn right, and we'll begin our final run into um, Runway 09 at Windrush Airport, which we are turning towards now. And you can see it directly ahead with the silage bales running along the side. So we go over the past David's place, 
over his, uh, his hay bales, over my vineyard, and down we come to land rather nicely on uh, runway 09. A nice run in, and as we head back down, you can see that the day has stayed absolutely glorious, although we've landed, if you look at the, uh, the windsock ahead of us, which we just missed, but uh, we landed with a fair bit of tailwind, which is good.